Okay, we're live at NAB 2019, Electrosonics' Carl Winkler, and something new, um, what do you got? Well, you know, we came out with the uh, M2 Duet system mm -hmm. a little over a year ago, and probably the most requested thing to go along with that, aside from the DCHT, which you guys have covered very well already, but as an antenna combiner system, mm -hmm. some way to take multiple RF outputs from these transmitters and get it into a single antenna. Mm -hmm. So that's the M2C. So we're showing it for the first time here. It hasn't even been officially announced, so you're getting the scoop. But basically, this takes up to eight uh, RF inputs from mm -hmm. up to four of these M2Ts mm -hmm. and uh, combines it into a single antenna. And you've got indicators here, signal present. You can see we're transmitting on this, this carrier here. And then, of course, if there's any kind of problems, like uh, if it starts to limit because it's overpower, mm -hmm. uh, or if there's a problem with the unit, it'll change colors. Uh -huh. So that's your indicators here. Simple, it's a fan cool device. It's a high power RF device, very linear. Mm -hmm. uh, so it doesn't distort the signal from uh, the M2T, even though it's a digital uh, transmission. Mm -hmm. So this could take analog uh, transmitters as well, but it's designed to stay linear, even with the, the more complicated digital modulation. Yeah. And is there any limitations as to how many uh, milliwatts you can pump through there? Or? Uh, you can put up to 100 milliwatts into it. Okay. And uh, that, that's, so it's designed for you know, this or even the belt pack type transmitters yeah. going into a single uh, antenna. And I noticed there's a USB port on there. What, uh, what's that for? Firmware updates and diagnostics. Oh, cool. Okay. So there, is, there are potentially some future, uh, something, something else could be done with there it. There could well. be. Who knows? All right. Awesome. Carl, thanks for the scoop. Of course, anytime.